Hit the subscribe button or visit us at auau.auanet.org. Single port transvesical robotic radical prostatectomy. Our patient is a 54-year-old male with a PSA of 5.9, Gleason 3 plus 4, 32 grams prostate with a left base posterior 1.2 centimeter lesion. Shim score was 16 and the risk of lymph node metastasis was 1% per Briganti nomogram. We position the patient in a supine position. We make a suprapubic, approximately 3.5 centimeters midline incision. We cut through the rectus fascia and the anatomical layers and we identify the bladder. We place four stay sutures and do a small cystotomy. For access, we use the Da Vinci single port access kit. We place the Alexis port straight into the bladder. Through the access kit, we use an 8mm air seal port for assistance. For suction, we use the remotely operated suction irrigation system. Then we dock the robot and insert our instruments. We start by making a semilunar line at the posterior bladder neck. We incise through the mucosa and the bladder and we access the vas deferens and the seminal vesicles. After the vas deferens and the seminal vesicles are dissected, we continue on with the anterior bladder neck dissection. Then we continue with the pedicle dissection. To apply clips, we use the dedicated single port wet clip applier which can only use medium-large, green-colored wet clips. To control the DVC complex, we use a 3O V-lock suture. We do the nerve spearing on the right side towards the apex. Once the apical dissection is complete, we transect the urethra. We typically perform the lymph node dissection after this step. However, due to the low risk of lymph node metastasis, we do not perform a lymph node dissection on this patient. For anastomosis, we use 3O VLAC sutures. The time was 179 minutes with a blood loss of 50 milliliters. Patient was discharged at postoperative 10 hours, catheter removed at 3 days, pathology showed negative margins, and patient continent since catheter removal. Here's the baseline characteristics of our 100 patients. In this slide, we see the perioperative outcomes. Length of stay is 5 hours, 81% stayed in the hospital less than 24 hours, only 4 patients used opioids postoperatively. The functional outcomes summarize on this table, and the continence rate gradually improved to 94% at 6 months. Positive surgical margin rate was 16%, lymph node dissection was performed in 31 patients, and only one patient had biochemical recurrence. Thank you.